So what are bonus weapons in Resident Evil 4 Remake? The answer is extremely simple, very easy. The hand cannon, the primal knife, and the Chicago sweeper are the only three bonus weapons in this game. The deluxe edition weapons do not count as bonus weapons. So the Sentinel-9 or the Skull shotgun thing is not a bonus weapon, okay? Okay, so what can you do with bonus weapons? Bonus weapons can be upgraded to be infinite, all three of them. So that means the Chicago and the hand cannon and the primal knife, all three can be infinite without the use of cat ears. So also, what can you do with bonus weapons? With bonus weapons, you can get S plus rank in professional and any difficulty in the game. The only thing that voids S plus rank is the New Game Plus. So what is New Game Plus? New Game Plus is when you finish a playthrough and then load up that file again and get to start over with your guns from the beginning. So you cannot get S plus if you do that. Note that the Infinite Launcher is not a bonus weapon, but it's only available in New Game Plus. Therefore, you cannot get S plus with the Infinite Launcher because you can get S plus in New Game Plus. So let's take a look at these bonus weapons. So I'm currently using the maxed out primal knife in hardcore difficulty and I'm knifing things to death. So the exclusive upgrade on the primal knife of course is the fact that it doesn't break. So it's infinite, it's unlimited, it will never break even if you parry a chainsaw. So in order to get, again, in order to get it to be infinite you have to fully upgrade it and then purchase the exclusive in the merchant's tune-up shop. So additionally, we also can use an exclusive ticket if we have enough spinels in our playthroughs. Note that it will stay infinite in that playthrough only and it will not be infinite in other save files. You will have to always upgrade it to max in order for it to be infinite. This applies to all of the weapons. So the Chicago, the hand cannon and the primal knife all have to be upgraded in each playthrough for them to be infinite. Now, let's take a look at the Chicago. So the Chicago Sweeper, also known as Chicago Typewriter, is incredibly good. It has the fastest rate of fire in the SMG class, and it's just, it's just crazy. It's just incredibly good, and it's honestly one of the best weapons in the entire game. You can do a knife-only run with the Primal Knife, of course. Uh, I do believe it's actually quite fun, and I actually recommend it. Um, the Chicago Sweeper is actually used in my strategy on how to get S plus rank to unlock cat ears. So you can use cat ears for unlimited ammo on all weapons. So let's take a look at the maxed out hand cannon. So the hand cannon goes all the way up to 36 damage and its bonus exclusive ability is ammunition never runs out. This weapon also has penetration which means it goes through enemies and through some objects including shields and things like that. And also if you try to reload it Leon will do a special animation much like in the much like with the Chicago sweeper. So let's take a look at the damage and how it affects enemies. And yeah, so the hand cannon is a one-shot on regular enemies, of course, but it isn't a one-shot against mini-bosses, such as the pig head or cow head dude or whatever it is, the bull head dude, um, but uh, I mean, that's to be expected. So hopefully that clears things up on what bonus weapons are and what they can do and what you can't do with them. If you're new, please consider subscribing, leave a like if you've enjoyed this video, comment down below which one is your favorite. I personally prefer the Chicago Sweeper, but I absolutely love the Primal Knife. Let me know what you guys think about it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.